Hi, this is Rich. How are you doing? This is outtake. I just did an outtake, and this is the hopefully not outtake. Mm. 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 <laughs> outtake. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's settle down here. I just turned on the camera, and I just want to start talking. I've been holding a lot of stuff, and I'm all, and I'm, I'm all like, Jesus Christ! Gotta talk to somebody. So here you are. Hi, how are you doing? You're somebody, right? Right? You're somebody, so I'm going to talk to you. This is a cough drop. It's for a chest cold. Look it up. Google it. Definition. Chest cold. They've been around for hundreds, thousands of years. Chest colds. You just take a little, you know, little cough drop for your little cough. This is my favorites. <laughs> I should ask them for a fucking sponsorship. Lockets. They're way better than these other ones that I've used. Ice, they're called Ice Storm. Can you get that? God damn it. Back off, bitch. There it is. Ice storm. Tastes like shit. Lockage. Yum, yum. Chest cold. But don't go outside and fucking start coughing on anybody. They'll fucking haul you away. Might force you to do something you don't want to do. Fucking insane motherfucking world, man. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, I want to talk to you about entities. What is an entity? By definition, Merriam-Webster, being, being, is being. An entity is a being. It's independent, separate, or self-contained existence. So anything that is independent, self-contained existence, you can label entity. That's why you have corporate entities. And corporate entities even have mm, laws uh, that protect them as if they are individuals with rights. So corporations are uh, a creepy fucking thing uh, as far as uh, trying to defend yourself against a corporation. A corporation will never fucking die. And a corporation is fucking heartless and has no empathy. Yet it's protected under the law. Mm -hmm. So anyway... What I want to do is talk about entities, and the reason I want to talk about entities is because I got a few emails today from clients or prospective clients that had questions about entities. And uh, one, one client, you know, I appreciate the email and the question, how do I get rid of these entities? And I started writing, out, it turned into a real long email. Well, here's the thing. There are many different kinds of entities, and... and uh, there are many different reasons for entities being in your space. So it's not, a, it's not as simple as that. Uh, when I first heard about entities, it was, it was 1984, and I had done a lot of work, inner work and stuff, and uh, I thought I was almost home fucking free, man. I thought I was at the top of the, the training, you know, and, and, and the spiritual work. And... Uh, then they lay on me that, uh, oh, well, your next level. See, there's a thing, uh, there's entities that are messing with you. I forget exactly how they said it, but I was told that some of my thoughts were not my own. I go, are you, are you saying that there are other beings or entities that are putting thoughts in my head? You go, mm-hmm. And this was a highly trained individual, right? And I, I respected their opinion. And actually, I was paying for some courses to learn how to get better knowledge. Right? I paid over a fucking thousand fucking dollars to learn my first course in how to get rid of entities. What they are, where they came from, why they're here, how they mess with me, and how do I get rid of them? And it's not like, here, let me tell you. You know, you got 10 minutes? Let me tell you how, how it's done. Let me tell you what, how, where they come from and why they are here. You got 10 fucking minutes? No. You got 10 fucking days? Fuck. This entity thing that's going on on the planet is, uh, it's been forever. And it's horrendous. It's terrible. And entities are fucking with just about everybody, and most people, they don't know it, don't understand it, don't realize it, and fortunately, a lot of people 
it's not ruining their lives. But the kind of clients uh, Agvila and I have been getting, it does ruin lives. Yeah. So we do what we can to help these people. Uh, you still with me? We're just talking about entities here. Hi, if you just got here. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Talking about fucking entities. Uh, that's some of the common entities. Probably the most common entity is what we call a thought form entity. And it really doesn't have a, a human shape or a demonic shape. or It doesn't look like anything. It looks like a little fucking fuzzball. It looks like a little fuzzy cloud or some shit. And these entities have been, they were awake, alive, sentient beings at one time. You know how we're all kind of a, a spark, of, we're the one spark of a, the greater consciousness. And uh, we've become individualized and separate from the greater awareness, consciousness that we all are. That makes us an entity too. Yeah. By definition, you and I are entities. So it's a vast subject. So anyway, these little entities, or once big entities, uh, wide awake, aware, sentient, knowing, living a life, living large throughout the multiverse, in this plane or this other, and they would create realities with their, uh, their ability to imagine. All of us have that ability uh, innately. And a lot of it's a lot of us it's repressed or blocked or locked out, so we do not have access to our vivid imagination. I'm talking about that vivid imagination. It's like a photographic memory imagination. It's eidetic memory imagination. It's the ability to imagine a scene before your very eyes, and it's like bing. It's all in your imagination. Nobody else can see it unless somebody else is psychic, have clairvoyant ability. And they can tune into your psychic vision, your imagination, and your entire fucking daydream world. And you, yeah, come on in. I have met people who, uh, well, this, this uh, one woman was a client. And she was telling me um, that uh, when her and her little sister were kids, about six, seven years old, they'd wake up in the morning, they slept in the same bed, you know, they're, all, they're real close. And uh, one of them would, with their wild and vivid imagination, imagine a scene at the foot of the bed. And the other little one could see it. And they could see each other's stuff. So they would have an interactive, vivid imagination thing going. They're little kids. They're psychic as fuck. Clairvoyant. Clairaudient. All that shit. Do -do -do. Well... All of us have that innate ability, but uh, most of us were born, it's repressed when we're born. We, we may have even agreed through soul contract agreements or prior instructions given to ourselves uh, before we incarnate that we're not going to have this ability or that ability or the other one or this and that uh, shit. And so we've pretty much fucked ourselves into our current living experience. Uh, but these little puffy cloud entities were once upon a time beings just like us and they could manifest realities too. So as, uh, as we have our uh, many experiences in the multiverse, we get into trouble, we get into shit, we get into fights and wars and we're playing a game. Says, hey, let's have a virtual reality game where... Mm, I'll be this uh, powerful entity and you'll be a powerful entity and we'll create worlds and planets and we'll have space wars and you're both outside that fucking game world and you're buds. Do -de -do, yeah, I'm conscious, you're conscious. We're just a very aware of powerful beings with full visuals and psychic abilities and clairvoyance and all this telepathic divine intelligence shit going down but we're two different individuals thus two different entities but we're godlike entities. But now we get together, and maybe there's not two of us, maybe there's a million of us. But we get together, and we're going to play within the context of another universe, another game world, like logging in onto a virtual reality game or some shit. And so from here, we assume a viewpoint in here, and then in here, we're running around, we're all very powerful beings. 
But now we're playing, we're engaging in conquest. Yeah. And we start playing hard fucking core. Yeah. So this this group here or this faction here comes blah, 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 and they're coming after you and yours. And you may have many star systems and planets uh, that you are the god of. You are the god over these things. And you, you guys, you just fucking imagined it into existence in the first fucking place from out here. But you get in here and you still know you've imagined it into existence. So you're playing a god within a game. You're outside the game, godlike beings, consciousness, awareness, individuals, entities. So then you go into a game and you play godlike beings, individuals, entities. And from here, you're creating worlds full of people. And some of them are NPCs. Some of them you don't put your own consciousness into. You just, they're just like fucking walking tree stumps, you know, or fucking toads. So anyway, you got your fucking millions on this planet. They got their millions or billions on this fucking planet. And everybody's building these fucking armadas. And you're stepping back from it. And you go, oh, what a fun game we're playing. But the consciousness that you are, from outside all three universes, accidentally over-identifies with the being that they're being within the next universe in. And then... While you're still playing here, you're still pretty aware and you got your abilities to create and imagine universes and worlds and realms and stuff. And you've done so. And from here, you're playing this game and you've got armadas and you've got uh, space cadets and you got fucking grunts and you got NPCs running all over the fucking place. And these guys, got, they got giant spiders and some of them, there's a conscious sentient beingness in there, some not. But... You put some of your consciousness in these many different viewpoints. And then they become entities when they become separate from the consciousness that created them. Okay? Now this happens because the consciousness that created them has chosen to allow separation and a not knowing to occur within their other points of view. Where they're playing as people. Human people, reptilian people, gray people, people, ETs of all kinds, all kinds of interesting creatures. But the consciousness that we are has splintered, fractured, separated out, put itself into all these different awarenesses, these points of awareness or viewpoints. And from some of these viewpoints, the conscious awareness that did all this knows it. So this consciousness is here can be all these different beings here, all these fucking spider, giant spiders, or giant ants, insects, or they can be a bunch of reptilians, or they can be a bunch of fucking greys, or they can be a bunch of fucking humans. And they know it. But in some cases, the consciousness that you are has separated out, put a viewpoint over here, put some endowed, some conscious awareness there, so uh, as like a fractal or a fractured, splintered piece of soul, soul fragment, sort of thing, but done on purpose. You did it. The awareness that you are did this on purpose. So there you are. Doo, 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 doo. And that's an entity. You create an entities. All this stuff you're creating, you are creating all these entities from that level, from this high level. Boom, 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 boom. So now, at this level of the game, where some of these entities that you've created, you've decided to not know that you are the God being that created you. So right now you're standing here, you're not knowing that the God being that created you is you. But this is a point of view that you have, and the God consciousness that is you has many conscious points of view. And some of them it knows that it is the God self or the God consciousness awareness, and in some it doesn't. It chose to not know that. Just like you're here now and you may not know that you're that God conscious awareness. Now you might intellectually know it. You've done your studies, you've done your research, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a God being too. Ah. But you're not really feeling it. You're not certainly not accessing it. So it's kind of an intellectual understanding of it, but you get it. It's better than a lot of people around here. So anyway, as we're just talking here about entities and crazy shit, right? We get into this boom, 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 boom. Now we're it's, now we got galactic fucking wars and weird shit and all these guys over here. Now we start playing hardcore on this level of physical reality. 
they're using uh, electronics and hardcore energy weapon stuff and mm, ultra sophisticated mind control and mind fuck technology. And uh, so some of your points of view that have separated out from the consciousness that you are, you've allowed this game to be played out uh, from the God perspective that you created from a higher God perspective. And you were up here going, doo, 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 uh, what's going on down there? It's like looking in a fucking ant farm. You got parked in a fucking garage. I wonder how they're doing this week. Oh, shit. Fuck that. You know, where's the responsibility, motherfucker? <laughs> we have to start assuming more responsibility for who we are, what we are, when we were, what we were, and how we got to how we are. And uh, from this perspective, that right here, right now, be more responsible. And let it spread from this point of view, back into the... So you can be that, that the irresponsible God being, I didn't know I did this. The I didn't know I did this idea that you're, you're with right now or that I'm with right now. Right now, I didn't know I created all this shit. This is me, I did that, I couldn't possibly have done that. The next one out could be saying the same fucking thing. The, the higher you, or higher in consciousness or awareness, it can be going, I'm not creating that, but, you know, I created that a long time ago. It's kind of running on its own. I don't want to, I'm busy over here doing this other weird shit. And the consciousness that we are on many different levels gets caught up in the games we're playing. It's not good, bad, right, or wrong. It's just like we're getting all involved, right? And we're so, we're all over the fucking multiverse. So, you and I, we can start taking responsibility for who and what we are and how we're creating what we're creating and how we are not just entities ourselves, but we're creating these other entities and these entities that are attacking us, these little fuzzball fucking entities, they were once you or they were once another being that you created as a consciousness and endowed with awareness, but not at this level, at some other level. And so now it seems like oh, it's a giant fucking reptilian fucking armada coming after us and we're fucked. Well, yeah, on this level, sure. Maybe, maybe not. But as you learn and understand what entities are and how they are and what they are and who created them and why, you start getting an understanding of it. So we're pretty involved in mm, galactic civilization right now. As the awareness consciousness that you are having created this long, long ago, you're all these different races of being. Now you have... With your trickle down uh, uh, levels of awareness, you become the you that you are right here. Well, those other yous, those other instances of the consciousness that you are at this level of awareness and knowing, sprinkle throughout the multiverse and in alternate timelines, parallel universes, and all this shit. Okay? But there you are, but it's you. Okay? But now you've got entity issues. These entities, they talk in your head, they fuck with you, there's groups of entities. These little fuzzball entities, as I was saying, were once powerful beings, but they got caught up, some of them got caught up in electronic weird shit, and the bad guys, knowing that they are very powerful aware beings, just like you, just like the point of view that you are right here, they got smushed and crunched and fucked with and mind controlled and programmed and hypnotized into thinking they're just a thought form. They're a little fuzzball thought form. So they're like, what do I do? And they get they can be used as weapons. They can they can be crunched a a being can be crunched into a thought form. In other words, it doesn't think it's a human being anymore or a reptilian being. It just it's down to just, it's so closed and locked in, it's like fucked up. And it's like, oh, uh, I'm depressed and I'm lonely and I can't see anything. And that's it. That's its awareness, it's its consciousness, its identity, and everything. It's a fuzzball. Now, some other beings with high tech and uh, psychic tech uh, and uh, basic advanced high tech electronics and shit can take this entity and beam them at a person and put them into a person like a human being on the planet, put them into their head, and this thought, this used to be a fucking entity, a powerful entity like yourself, 
an aware entity like yourself. You're going to beat the shit out of them. Program, mind fucked, MK altered, thinking is, oh, I'm just, uh, I'm sad and nobody loves me and I've gotten attacked and I'm pretty much fucked and I don't understand what's going on. That's its thought, repetitive. It never stops thinking that, never stops feeling that. That shit ball there gets beamed into a person's head, boom! And the person that you are or that I am, the entity that you are, I am, this thing blends. Now, entities will normally only blend with a being who it has something in common with. Or there's been some invitation or some agreement that causes or allows the entity attachment. And we all have energy shielding around us and energy field around us. Give it lots of fucking names, whatever works for you. But we have this kind of, it's like a psychic energy shielding that protects us like our immune system protects us from bacteria and germs, viruses, and all that stuff. But it's just like psychic energy field. And it protects us from these attacks or these infestations from parasitic beings. So we're good. Traumatic incidents, uh, abusing alcohol and drugs and uh, they call entheogens, uh, uh, psychotropics, LSD, mushrooms, ayahuasca, DMT, peyote, these sort of drugs and chemicals have a an astral level or a non-physical mm, copy or double of them. And in fact, it works the other way around. We have the etheric or the astral stuff and you get a physical universe copy of it. So when you want to change things in the physical world, you can focus in on the astral or the etheric or whatever the fuck realm you want to give a label to and you do the work, your psychic work on that level and then it affects and kind of trickle down manifest within your physical system uh, and you get what you've imagined as a healing sort of thing when you do work on yourself. So anyway, mm, these entities uh, normally can't get into your space if your space is clean and clear. That means your consciousness is clean and clear because you can muck with and invite and attract these parasitic beings and entities with your thoughts, your negative thoughts. And we all have them, and you know, it's like something terrible happens in your world, and you start thinking about it and how to fix it, and oh, and and, and then when we take these uh, psychotropics, entheogens, and all this drugs and stuff, this it kind of messes with our etheric or energetic shielding, and we compromised our protection system against these parasitic energies. And now they can get in your in your space. So now you've got one. Uh, somebody's targeted you. Some You were having a big fucking fight somewhere in some universe with these other bad boys and you're playing the good guys, they're playing the bad boys. It's There's no real good and bad. It's like you log into a game. Am I going to be... Am I going to be Luke Skywalker or one of the good guys here? or uh, uh, Princess Leia? What am I going to do? Am I going to be fucking Han Solo or the fucking Obi-Wan? What am I going to... Who am I? Right? In this game... Or, oh, no, I want to play Darth Vader. I want to play one of these other dark Sith fucking, uh, fucking bad guy <clears throat> deals. Okay, so it's just a game. You choose a side, and uh, it's kind of like that. So these guys, you're, we're involved in these fucking horrendous, weird-ass fucking games. It's kind of gotten out of hand. It's gotten gross and yicky. So... The bad boys have taken this big, powerful being and crunched him down and mind fucked him into, programmed him and hypnotized him. And he just thinks he's just a fucking, he's just an emotional thought form now. And then now they can take that and they can throw it into your space. And if it gets through your protection system and there's something that you have in common with it, it has in common. Maybe you're feeling a little lonely and sad and fucked up and uh, no one to talk to or some shit like that. And it's like, ah, easy target, bam. It's unsuspecting blend. It's not out of, the, out of this world different from normal. But it, it's able to attach, attract, 
blend and manifest within your space. So now you've got entity infestation of one. And it's a thought form entity. Now see how we, I've been going on and on, and this is about just how a simple one thought form entity can get into your space. And we haven't talked about how to get it out of your spouse space, and we haven't talked about all the other kinds of entities. Uh, so I'm just saying there's a lot to, to know about entities. And uh, so I guess I'm going to focus on this, this one entity. Actually, they can put a hundred or a thousand of these fuckers. It could be two entities, three entities, four, smushed together. It's called a cluster. They're all smushed together. And now they're all fucking basically crazy and been programmed up the gazoo, hypnotized and beat up. And they're just an emotional fucking drama fucking queen in your space. And now you're like, oh, man. And on a bad fucking day after a hangover or a traumatic incident or a fight or some trigger, trigger, some trigger, some bad news, weird shit happened in the world. Or health issues. Anyway, you're feeling pretty down and this stuff can overcome you and you think it's you. Because it's on a thought level. And your thoughts are pretty much the same energy, vibration, and frequency as their thoughts. And people don't know that the thoughts they're having in their head are not their own. So in order to deal with these kinds of entities, you have to have that awareness. And you have to start becoming aware of thoughts. And be the awareness, not the thought. So when that talking in your head, that, that verbal dialogue, that internal chatter internal dialogue in your native language, talking to yourself. When pay attention and know that the awareness that you are isn't the talking that you are. The awareness that you are identifies with the talking self, but who are you talking to? And who's talking back? So now we get into the entity phenomena of it and the emotional stuff connected with the entity phenomena because the entity has its own emotional stuff. It's usually in tune with, in vibration or frequency or resonance with the mm, emotional stuff that you already have going. But when you try to solve your emotional shit or your life problems, it doesn't solve because this entity doesn't give a shit. And it's just, it keeps coming back and it brings back the emotion and the problem and the issue. So you have to address the entity stuff too. So, <clears throat> and... When you address these kinds of entities, these thought form entities, you, it's good to know that some of these thought form entities can be projected by hostile human beings that live down the fucking street practicing black fucking magic bullshit or some magic spell or family fucking curse bullshit, black witchcraft crap, sorcery, black, dark. So there's just all kinds, right? And they can send a little fucking... Uh, thought ball, fucking evil fucking thing. You know, and it's going to try to track you fucking down. Now, <laughs> joke on this one. We've had clients that uh, they're uh, either they dabbled in the dark arts and that was like, mm -mm, shouldn't have done that. That's opening the door. Sometimes it's not them, but it's their, their, their mother or their grandmother or their grandfather was a fucking witch. Uh, like in, you know, uh, serious witch, witchy stuff, um, the dark stuff, and so near shaman, not shaman, but black magic sort of practicers. Uh, and uh, so one of their relatives or ancestors uh, were fucking picking fights and duking it out with their black fucking magic and all kinds of shit and the family line about, about grandma or something uh, got a curse on the whole fucking family the lineage as an example we've really had, we've really dealt with shit like this uh, so now you got to track that shit down and that's a different kind of entity phenomena and but that's not only entity phenomena that is uh, a, uh, on a curse level that's like an agreement level uh, you agree that you believe in that stuff or you agree that it's possible, you agree that it happened, all this agree, agree, agree shit. And so then that, that's where soul contract and agreement revocation technique comes into play to get rid of this kind of crap. 
and sole contract revocation kind of work will also get rid of a lot of these entities. You can focus on a specific kind of entity and do a sole contract revocation on that. This is where I'm supposed to plug <laughs> this little, little head in my voice in my head says, hey, tell them that you, you offer those courses. Well, I do. <clears throat> uh, we have over at richwest.net, there's sole contract revocation course, uh, there's uh, entity release course, there's a, a emotional release and a universal release course that will deal with certain kinds of entities. <clears throat> and there's um, also uh, Akvila and I offer a deep scan where using her psychic abilities, she can tune in and see what's going on in your, your world. And uh, oftentimes she can spot some of these entities that are fucking with you. And we have tools and techniques and strategies that we can help release those from your space, teach you how to get rid of some yourself. Uh, <clears throat> so we got all that. So that's my fucking advertisement in the middle of the video. Now I just blew myself off from, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, we were talking about this one, this is one thought form kind of entity. These aren't the demons, the like lower astral demons and weird shit like that. These aren't the, what we call the archons or the lords. Uh, they call themselves the lords uh, lording over uh, humans. You got these astral, not only astral entities, different kinds. There's different, lots of different kinds. There's little creepy crawly things, little insectoid looking things, you know, furry, scratchy things in the astral. People uh, encounter these. So there's tips and tricks and techniques that you can use to deal with those. Like when you're falling asleep at night, you experience them. Or you're waking up in the morning, you experience them. Or you, you, you end up seeing them in a lucid dream or an out-of-body experience. There's different techniques and principles involved that will help you be at cause over that sort of stuff. But it's not easy. And it's not, you know, it's like, what kind of entity is it? And why is it here? And what did you have to do with it coming into your space? And what can you do about it to get it out of your space? And then there's more than one. So it is a, whoa, there's just a lot to it. <clears throat> then there's the whole thing about these uh, high-tech sort of things. You've got ETs and aliens. They come visiting in the middle of the night. <clears throat> and they are often, they are entities. They're often dealt with as entities and experienced as entities. But there are also specific kind of entity that is an extraterrestrial entity. <clears throat> the aggressive reptilians types, uh, there's regressive uh, gray types. Grays are usually hired hands. And for other ET races that come and mess with humans, the ET races, they understand the different levels and planes of existence. You know, basically humans, we get this. We get the physical world, we fall asleep, we go fucking out. And we wake up in the morning, we're back here. That's all we get. Some of us are lucky enough to remember dreams, lucid dreams, and out-of-body experiences. But still, we come back, we're dealing with this shit. And we're blind to the, the attacks. But that's how they do it. They always like to work in secret. And they, the, we, our perception has been dumbed fucking down. The ent entire human experience, the body has been fucked with, so we don't have our access to our psychic abilities. Some of us do, and that's good. <clears throat> but a lot of us don't. And so we're the effect more of their bamboozling and shenanigans and fucking around with us when, our, when we fall asleep at night. So people get abducted. In the astral, they get abducted. Their astral body, they in their astral body, gets abducted into an astral plane of their, uh, you call it the astral, that's just a label. But there, it's another plane of existence, real as can be, more real than here. I mean, you can touch it and feel it and experience it all. And people wake up all the time on these fucking metal tables on spacecraft with these grays staring over them, and, and oftentimes a fucking reptilian in the background going, hmm, running the fucking show. Well, there's those kinds of entities. 
Oh, and we can deal with them in the astral or these other planes of existence much easier and much better than we can in a physical plane. Okay. You know how you, you've heard that uh, it all starts with our imagination and we have to imagine it or think it before it can manifest in the physical? It's kind of like that. And when you leave here for good, you're in another world, another realm, another belief system, territory, energy system, dimension, plane of existence, or what have you. But you're wide awake and aware. If you're wide awake and aware here, if you're dumbed down, ignorant, stupid, pretty fucked up, and you don't get it and don't give a shit, here, you drop fucking dead, you're not going to get any smarter just because you drop dead. It doesn't work that way. You go, who, what, where am I? Hmm. And then your imagination will work for you. You start imagining shit. If you're afraid of shit, you might start imagining things that you're afraid of. Oh, are the demons going to come and get... There they are. Why? You just imagine them into existence. Don't do that. Learn about the afterlife. Learn about the, the different dimensional planes and reality systems and how entities work, what they are, and what you can do about it. And you can be more in control of what goes on now in this world relative to entities and what happens when you leave this world and go to these other. Because wouldn't it be great if when you left this world for good, the entities you found were loving, kind beings, probably human, wouldn't that be great if they were human? Unless you're into something fuzzy and <laughs> with horns, I don't know. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be great if you could find your own peeps over there warm, loving, family, you've known them for a really long time, and you're back there, and you're, you're comfortably in a higher evolutionary in spirit, evolutionary experience in this hardcore physical universe, earth bullshit that we put ourselves through. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, entity, yeah, yeah. So there's different techniques to deal with entities. If you were to get a session with Agvila and I, we could teach you some of the techniques. We can look at some of the entity stuff that's going on. We can get a little background on what the entities are doing here, why they're here, that sort of shit. Uh, that's what we do. And sometimes we can get rid of the motherfuckers and they're gone for good. Sometimes we can get rid of the motherfuckers and some just like them come on. It's like getting rid of one fucking flea. Hey, I still got fleas. Yeah, no shit. <clears throat> sometimes you can get rid of a whole lot of them. But you learn, you learn inner work, you learn to become more responsible, and uh, you get an idea. If you're lucky, you're playing, you're playing it smart, you'll get an idea of what you have to do with why these entities are in your space. <clears throat> uh, so you learn some tips and tricks and different things. One of our favorites is, uh, we call it the parts party. Uh, there's parts of you, your personality, you know, your the angry you, the, the fun you, the, uh, uh, the poor you, poor fucking you, and the, uh, Jesus, creepy you. Uh, I, I, I could say me too, you know. The poor, poor me, the creepy me, the angry me, the hostile fucking rage case me, uh, the loving me, the smart me, the wise me, the talkative me, the funny me, blah, 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 me, me, me. <clears throat> These are parts of the self. Okay, now some of these parts of the self get infected with the entity phenomena. So you can have a parts party. You're going to invite parts of yourself to a little fucking party, and you're going to imagine your party scene. I usually just have a, like a fucking table, a round table. This is serious. This isn't the kind of party you think, motherfuckers. And I call forth my angry self, my fun-loving self, and my uh, poor me self. But the trick on the, tech, the technique has to do with you got to focus on one situation or issue. Like if you have uh, an issue with, uh, with girls and you can't find the right girl. Poor you. You tried so hard and failure. So there's poor you and there's failure you. And uh, they don't like me. So it's, you could have the self-invalidating self, uh, self-invalidating self you. And uh, the longing, the longing you, I just, just for so long, 
I want it. Just, I just want to find that connection. <sighs> so anyway, you get to define the situation you're going to address. And then within that particular situation, your girl problem. And it's not just your girl problem, it's your girl talking to girls problem. Or you can talk to them, but you can't get them in the sack problem. Or uh, you, there's just no one around. You know, you're in the wrong part of the city, the town, the country, and there's just no girl like you anywhere for you. Problem, right? Well, you pick out the fucking problem, get specific on it. Because if you go too global, you're going to have more entities than you can fucking handle, man. So you get it nice and tight, and then you invite in those parts of you that have something to say about it. So you get these different parts of you. Poor you. And then you ask each part of you what seems to be the problem regarding this girl fucking problem. And you let each part of you, you become the facilitator, you become the, you, you're the boss here, you're the party, <laughs> you're not the party animal, you're the host, you're the diplomat, you're the spiritual counselor for these other aspects of yourself, you are the responsible beingness, putting this on, okay? So you are non-judgmental, you're there to help, you're a guide for other parts of yourself. And these are literally parts of yourself. And if some of these parts of yourself just say, fuck you, I'm out of here. I don't like being controlled by the dominant self that you are. And you know how you've repressed some parts of your personality and you haven't acted like that since you were a fucking teenager. Never again. You've abandoned a part of yourself. Yeah, yeah. And that part of yourself, you may have splintered or fractured it right there and it's just fucking gone. It's still doing something. It's still aware and still doing something. But you don't know what. You kicked it out of your space. So you can invite some of those parts of yourself back in too during your parts party. See how this is entity work? And see how it's more than if some guy wrote to me, hey, how do I handle these entities? Which inspired me to write, write <laughs> do this long-ass video about all about fucking entities. Because I actually know quite a bit about it. <clears throat> So anyway, so now you got your parts here, the parts of you. The part you want to, the, the thing you want to remember about this is these, you want to clean up the parts of yourself and the entities that have attached to you and affect you through a part of your, the, your true self. It's what you want to get rid of. Uh, you want to make it better for the parts of you, and you want to awaken the entity part of that is a part of the part of you this part of you has entity stuff when you talk to this part of you it wakes up this part of you but it also wakes up the entities and oftentimes the entities will go huh what and it's not the you the divine or the big you and it's not even this part of you this entity goes huh what sometimes they will wake up and they'll just fucking leave you don't have to talk to them or address them or anything go, what the fuck am i doing here Pew. You have been able to separate out from the entity. And that's all it took. So now the entity is not overwhelmed by your great awareness and consciousness and knowing and divine intelligence. And it goes, hmm, what? Whoa, and whew, it's out of here. So you got several parts at your parts party. So you pick one and you ask this part of you, hey, you know, this is this thing about, this is poor you, can't get a girl. And you, you ask it, uh, okay, from your, from your viewpoint, what seems to be the problem? Regarding can't get a girl. Uh, and then you let it talk. <laughs> Excuse me. You let it talk it out. What's the problem here? And you're, as a facilitator, you are just letting your, this part of you talk it out. You're not going to try to solve it. No. You're just going to listen. And you will, you, you let them talk and you keep asking some questions. It takes a little creativity or, you know, you might be a natural at this, but you allow this part of you to talk. And as an experience, you may have your eyes closed and you just ask, okay, this poor, poor me can't get a girl part. What seems to be the problem? And you just, you feel like you're talking to yourself like you're always talking to your fucking self. Say, what do I want for lunch? I think I have a hot dog. 
and you say, okay, this part of me that, that can't get a girl, what, uh, what seems to be the problem? Well, I don't know, fucking, there's no fucking girls around here like me. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Well, blah, 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 blah. So it might just seem like an inner, inner dialogue like you normally do, but that's fine. It's exactly what you want to do. Some people with visual abilities, they can actually see this aspect of themselves. They can imagine it into existence or it's just there, but they're just looking at themselves. They've got their eyes closed, they've got this visuals going, and there's this part of them. They might have an um, inner child self or teach yourself, and this little inner child self might be a little fucking rascal, and this other one might be all wise and in their fucking robes. It doesn't matter what your parts look like or if you can even see them. Okay? You close your eyes. Okay. It's poor me. Can't get a girl. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Well, every time I see a girl, they take off fucking running. They look away. I start to walk over there. Well, they usually walk, keep walking. Jesus. What's wrong with me, right? But, but when you're talking to this part of yourself, and it's talking back and telling you what the fucking problem is, any entity phenomena is waking up. And they go, yeah, that's my problem. And then it starts waking up and realizes, one, it's not you who's asking the problem, uh, asking the, the question, but it's not even the part of you that has the problem. And the entity stuff will wake up, and there can be more than one entity in a cluster of entities that wake up and so you can get rid of entities all over the fucking place while at the same time you're uh, doing soul retrieval so to speak on yourself or you're cleaning up aspects of yourself that maybe have been repressed, suppressed invalidated, abandoned resisted and all this so you kind of clean it up with yourself and sometimes they will reintegrate with you and you feel a greater sense of personality and character. <sighs> okay. So that's just some of the techniques we use. And this is how we do it. So there's, uh, you know, how you deal with reptilians and greys. That's a whole nother fucking video. Then uh, there's the astral demons uh, and uh, where they show up and how they show up and what you can do about it. That's another video. But yeah, I just wanted to share with <laughs> I just want to share with you uh, this sort of thing because it was on my mind this morning. And uh, if you'd like to get a, a, a session with us, we call it a, a, a psychic scan. And uh, I'm there, Agvila's there, and uh, you and I talk, we, you share your entity stuff, and, this, and Agvila's listening and watching. We're all on Zoom together, and she can see you, and, uh, and you and I are talking back and forth. And she starts seeing flashes of this and that and she tunes into your stuff and then we go oh we know what you see what's what what's going on and she shares what she sees and then uh depending on situation and circumstances we can either uh sometimes she can get rid of those entities for you sometimes we will work with you to get rid of them and sometimes we will be giving you techniques and strategies and deeper understanding of what's going on so you can work on yourself even after the session. Uh, so yeah, that's how it works. Mm. So, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have uh, an interest in this, you can go over to richwest.net and uh, there's actually an entity removal course as well. Uh, or you can get a session with me or a session with Aunt Vila. Either one. Yeah, but the details are over there. But yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've learned something new, or if you can relate to some of the things I've mentioned in this video, leave some comments below. I want to talk more about the ET uh, alien interference sort of uh, entity phenomena. And then there's the whole thing about the love bite, the alien love bite, entity phenomena. That's another, that's an extraterrestrial alien interference sort of entity. The entities in that they usually mess with us when a body's asleep. That's when they do all the shit to us. And then they, they excuse me, <coughs> they cause the person to have 
serious issues in the love and romance department. Uh, their lover turns on them uh, on and off, hot and cold, turns creepy, attacks, weird shit, and you're just in love and you can't fucking shake it. You go, the bad person's bad for me, but you get away for a little while and then you get hit with the longing or the love or you stay away for years and then the lover comes back into your life and fucks it up again. But you can't say no because you're in love. They literally fuck with your heart energy. And they're advanced ETs. They're not like lower astral fucking bullshit entities. And they're not like black magic and fucking that kind of shit. This is high tech aliens from off planet fucking with you, motherfuckers. So that's a whole other kind of entity thing. And there's, there's strategies and things you can do about that too. But it's, it's not always easy. Oh, yeah, come with me. All fixed. If it was that fucking easy, that'd be fucking great. Uh, there's a woman called Eve Lorgan. She wrote the book, Alien Love Bite. Google it. Buy the book. It's a great book. Uh, we've, we've talked to her. We've worked with her. Uh, we shared notes and strategies and just had some chat ups and talks about this stuff. And uh, I learned a lot from her about this whole alien love bites thing. I read her books and wow, great stuff. But getting rid of the entities, these alien love bite kind of entity things, you know, it takes work. It's, it's a handful. And if you've got that kind of thing going, you want a little... Yeah, you want an eye opener on what maybe you can do about it and what maybe we can do about it or, or Eve Lorgan can do about it. I don't know if she's still doing one-on-ones uh, consultations or not right now. But, uh, yeah, give us a jingle. I should make another video about alien love that stuff. Okay, that's it for now. Hey, thank you for watching. Oh, my God, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, then there are the, there's a whole other entity phenomena. What if... You are starseed, and you have a body in an immersion pod somewhere. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, that's a whole other fun thing, too, I want to talk about. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take care now.